Good morning, friends. So today for Project Block, I have us doing one last little totem activity. So on Friday, when we have our social studies block, we are going to be learning about a whole new tribal region. It's a whole new place, whole new tribes. And we will be moving on from the Pacific Northwest to the Southwest. So as one little last hurrah, for the Northwest, I thought we could do a little totem flip book and it's really fun. So I will take a picture of the directions and post it in the comments. I'm also going to go over the directions here in the video. I'm going to change the directions up just a little bit because this has us having a discussion about qualities of the animals and then you guys would be able to tell me what you think they are. So I will list the qualities of the animals and then um, I'm going to open it up and say that you can write about your family or friends. In the directions, it just says you're writing about family, but I'll open it up to family or friends or both. So in the totem pole layer book, there are four totem animals represented. There's a raven, a fox, a butterfly, and a whale. So each animal, as you've learned, has their own specific personality and traits that go with them. So the raven is smart, free-spirited, and independent. If you remember back, we read a story about the raven when we first started studying about the Northwest Coast. We found out that he was a trickster. Okay, the next animal is the fox, and he is shy, clever, and fast. The butterfly is delicate, colorful, and beautiful. And lastly, the whale, he is strong, friendly, and a good swimmer, okay? So you are going to cut apart the four totem pole layers that I will also post in the section, the comment section of this video. And you are going to assemble them in order. So the raven will go on top, and then the fox will go underneath the raven, the butterfly will go underneath the fox and the whale will go underneath the butterfly. So it goes from shortest to longest. And then you are going to staple it up at the top. So you are going to choose four people in your family or friends that you think have the same qualities as those totems. Okay. So you are going to lift up the raven picture and write about the person who is like the raven. Then you're going to lift the fox picture and write about a person who is like the fox. Then you are going to lift the butterfly picture and write about a person who is like a butterfly at the top of the page. Okay, so this is where it's going to get a little confusing. So you're lifting up the raven, and on the fox page, you're writing about a, a friend or family member like the raven. And then when you lift the fox page, on the butterfly page, you are going to write about somebody who has the personality traits of the fox. And then when you lift the butterfly page, on the whale page, the longest page, you're almost going to cut it in half. Don't really cut it, but like with a little line put a line at the halfway mark and on the top half of the whale sheet you're going to write about a person who has the qualities of the butterfly and underneath that you are going to write about a person or a friend that has the personality traits of the whale okay so you are going to color in the four animals and then you can have moms or dads post a picture or email me what your story looks like about your family and your friends. So I will post a picture of the storybook, flipbook, and the directions. Have fun with it.